Welcome to Shepparton. Coming up on today's episode, I discover I'm an idiot as I realise why my glide slope indicator was failing on my last flight. Oh, I'm an idiot. I've just realised what I did last week, which is why I didn't get the glide slope coming up on the ILS. We fly an ILS approach into Essendon. Clear the ILS from my 26 approach report established. And landing at Shepparton, an uncontrolled country airport in Victoria. Shepparton traffic, Tango Delta Sierra on final runway 18, full stop. Tango Delta Sierra, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, Tango Delta Sierra. Vehicle with fuel uniform, downwind, start to go. Check something with Avalon from last week. Oh, I'm an idiot. I've just realised what I did last week, which is why I didn't get the glide slope coming up on the ILS. I'll fly the ILS here, but then I, when we get to Shepparton, I'll explain what I think I've done. So this is the chart for Essendon, and you'll see the Essendon ILS. The frequency is 1099. So pretty straightforward. Tune in 1099, identify with the Morse, and you've got the localizer uh, and the glide slope indications from the ILS into Essendon. So now let's have a look at the chart for Avalon. So this is the approach plate for the ILS runway 18 at Avalon. Notice anything different? There are two frequencies one for the ILS 1095, but the other one for the VOR 1161. And what I did was I tuned this one in, I tuned in the VOR. Zero kilometers, cloud, fuel, 2,500 feet, temperature, 1,3, QNA. I identified this correctly, but this was the Morse that I was after. And that's basically it. It just came down to basic pilot error. I tuned in the wrong nav aid. Nothing to do with the plane. Sorry, plane. Everything to do with the pilot. Okay, let's go. Take it down to zero, turn left, thing 290 to join the localised room on half south, clear to ILS from my 26 approach report established. Left 290, clear to uh, ILS 26, Tango Delta Sierra. So we can flaps down, trim forward, and we can pick up the glide slope, and over to town. Essendon Tower, Tango Delta Sierra, uh, final left 3000. Tango Delta Sierra, Essendon Tower. Tango Delta Sierra, for the missed approach, remain east of the runway 26 threshold, turn right heading 030 visual, climb to 3000. Right 030 uh, visual, climb 3000, Tango Delta Sierra. So going around full power, AV8 first. Flaps away. Tango Delta Sierra in the missed approach. Tango Delta Sierra. Of course we're being vectored out by Melbourne. ATC, because over my left shoulder I can see A380s and 737s and all sorts for Melbourne Tullamarine. That is, that is seriously cool. I wish you could see that on the GoPros. It will never pick it up, but we've got a Qantas 737 coming into land just off our left wing tip. Shepparton traffic, Tango Delta Sierra and IFR Cirrus is 10 miles to the south, inbound. Estimate circuit, uh, time 14, Shepparton. Shepparton traffic, zero via Victor, turning final for runway 18, full stop. Shepparton. Shepparton traffic, Tango Delta Sierra, turning base, runway 18, Shepparton. So we've got the landing aircraft in sight, we'll just give them a little bit of room here. Shepparton traffic, Tango Delta Sierra on final runway 18, full stop, Shepparton. Shepparton traffic, dual drive, Victor, clear from one runway, Shepparton.
there's loads of planes here it's really cool there's Piper Cub back there which I just saw someone's got an army jeep in their hangar as well that's pretty awesome let's have a look down here 